This video is brought to you by Ultium 365 via the World Designs Electronics. In today's episode, you will learn how to make a vehicle tracking system using Arduino. New 6M GPS module, a pair of SX1278 LoRa transceiver modules, a one channel relay module, SSD1306 OLED display module, and a 5 volt buzzer. Besides the car GPS coordinates, this LoRa GPS tracker also informs you whether the car is within the geofence region or is it outside the geofence. So you may also call this GPS LoRa tracker a geofence tracker. Further, this Arduino based LoRa tracker also displays the distance and by using this button you can also disable a car's computer system and then nobody can start your car. A lot of things are going to be explained within this video so relax and keep enjoying this video and if you have any sort of query in your mind you can ask about it in the comment section or if you have any suggestions you are most welcome. Anyhow before a practical demonstration there are certain points which are very important and which I want to share with you. In my last two videos I designed two different types of trackers. In my first video, I implemented geofencing technology in an attempt to reinforce my car security. As I have elaborated in my previous video, you can define a virtual boundary around any area with the help of geofencing by means of using GPS coordinates. In a similar fashion, I build up a virtual fence for my car so that whenever my car happened to go out of that prescribed area, I received an alert message on my cell phone which prompted me that the car is outside the fence. The vehicle tracking system which I designed in my second video was quite amazing. You can request your car's GPS coordinates at any time by sending a message from your cell phone. The best thing about my design tracker is that it also sends you a Google Map link apart from the GPS coordinates. By using this link, you can find your car or any other vehicle by tracking it. To clearly explain the GPS-based car tracking system, I used my car to be stolen and then I located it with the help of the tracker. Moreover, I also introduced the accident monitoring feature in my car tracker. Whenever the car's front bumper was hit, I received an accident alert message on my cell phone. Furthermore, I also added the function of O-speed monitoring in my car's tracker. Whenever a car's speed exceeded a certain limit, the buzzer always turned on and it kept turning on as long the car speed was not reduced. Guys, you might think that when I have already done all this on such an advanced level, then what is the need for making a LoRa GPS tracker? The answer is pretty simple. I used GSM in those two trackers and in today's car tracker, I'm going to use LoRa. Now, it is up to you to decide whether you have to use a GSM or LoRa for your car's tracking. If you want to track your car within a range of thousands of kilometers, then I suggest you use GSM. However, it is worth remembering here that thieves have GSM jammers nowadays and when they plan to steal your car, you will not receive any message on your cell phone this is one of the greatest drawbacks of the GSM based tracking system. And if you use the long range LoRa tracker, you can track your car within a range of up to 10 kilometers in real time. And if you use LoRaWAN, then you can even track your car within thousands of kilometer range. As you know, LoRa GPS is an absolutely new technology, so thieves do not have chambers for it as yet, which is obviously a plus point. My designed LoRa GPS tracker is pretty tension free because I have applied geofencing technology to it. So as soon as the car drives out from the geofence, the buzzer will turn on and then I can wirelessly disable the management system of my car by pressing this button. I'm presenting the computer system of my car through this bulb. I can turn the bulb on or off wirelessly. Exactly in a similar fashion, I can turn on or off the computer system of my car 
So let me practically demonstrate it for you. Ultium 365 lets you hold the fastest design reviews ever. Share your designs from anywhere and with anyone with a single click. It's easy. Leave a comment taking your teammate and they will instantly receive an email with a link to the design. Anyone you invite can open the design using a web browser. Using the browser interface, you are able to comment, markup, cross probe, inspect and more. Comments are attached directly to the project, making them viewable within Ultim Designer as well as through the browser interface. Design, share and manufacture all in the same space with nothing extra to install or configure. Connect to the platform directly from Ultim Designer without changing how you already design electronics. Ultim 365 requires no additional licenses and comes included with your subscription plan. If you want to start with Ultim Designer, then you can click on the first link in the description. This place is the center point of my geofence and the maximum distance which I have selected is 30 meters. I have already explained the geofencing technology and its implementation in detail. You can find a link in the description given below. For demonstration purposes, I have connected a relay with the front lights of my car while in its real implementation you have to make this connection with the wire through which the car's entire computer system can be turned on or off. For this purpose you can view the wiring diagram of your car otherwise you may contact an experienced car technician. Anyways you can see that I can turn on or off my car's front lights by pressing this button. Right now the lights are on which means that the car's computer system is on and my brother can start the car. Now as soon as my brother drives out the car from the geofence, the buzzer on the receiver side will turn on which will indicate that the car has gone out from the geofence and then I can disable the car's computer system by pressing this button. Now you can see the car's real location on the display is the car is still within the limits of the geofence therefore zero is written on the display when the car gets out from the geofence then one will be displayed over here there is a distance on its side which is actually the distance between the car and the geofence center it means that the distance shows how much the car is away from the center of the geofence So you can see the buzzer has turned on which means that the car has moved out from the geofence. Now by pressing this button I can turn off the car's computer system which I'm presenting through lights. So you have watched practically how useful this system is. Not only a car but you can track down any object through this system. You can track your animals. To be more specific you can use it as a dog tracker and so on. I'm sure by now you might have got an idea of how does this system works. So without any further delay, let's get started. Components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. The TX and RX pins of the Neo 6M GPS module are connected with the Arduino pins 8 and 9, while the VCC and ground pins of the GPS module are connected with the Arduino's 5V and ground. One channel relay module is connected with the Arduino digital pin 3, while the voltage and ground pins of the relay module are connected with the 12 volts and ground. 
the VCC of the LoRa module is connected with the 3.3 volt of the Arduino. The MISO pin of the LoRa module is connected with the Arduino pin 12. The MOSI pin is connected with pin 11. The SCK pin of the LoRa module is connected with pin 13. The NSS pin is connected with the Arduino's pin 10. And the ground pin of the LoRa module is connected with the Arduino's ground. On the left side, you can see a 5 volt regular power supply based on the LM705 voltage regulator. We use this regulated 5 volts to power up the Arduino and all the other electronics. The connections of the 5 volt regulated power supply and SX1278 LoRa transceiver module remain exactly the same. The SDA and SCL or SCK pins of the SSD1306 or LED display module are connected with the A4 and A5 pins of the Arduino, while the VCC and ground pins of the OLED display module are connected with the Arduino's 5 volts and ground pins. A button is connected with digital pin D4. A 5 volt buzzer is connected with the Arduino pin 5. A 2N2222 NPN transistor is used to control the 5 volt buzzer. Now let's take a look at the programming. This Arduino and LoRa based car GPS tracking system is based on two programs. This program is written for the transmitter side, whereas this program is written for the receiver side Arduino. You can download these libraries from my article. Anyway, first let's take a look at the transmitter side programming. I created this code by combining the codes of my previous two projects, LoRa based two-way communication system and Arduino geofencing technology. So the purpose of this code is to find the distance between any two GPS coordinates using the Heversign formula and then accordingly set the status. Finally, I send the complete message which consists of the latitude, longitude, status and distance values. It also controls the relay depending on the signal received from the receiver side. So the transmitter side is able to send and receive the data. Now let's take a look at the receiver side programming. Almost 70% of this code is similar to the transmitter code because I'm using the same LoRa code on both the sides. The purpose of this code is to print the latitude, longitude, status and distance on the OLED display module. The receiver side also has a button which is used to control a relay on the transmitter side. The button status is stored in a variable and is then sent in a message. For more detailed explanations, watch my previous videos. You can find links in the description. So that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.